Mr. Begin turned to me and wanted me to become defense minister. And I turned him down. At the time, uh, it we were in the process of implementing the agreement with the Egyptians. We'd already turned half the Sinai over to them. And I said to him, uh, if it is your intention, as I think it is, of now implementing the rest of the agreement and going back to the old mandatory line, then I'm not the guy to be your defense minister. He said to me, listen, the Sinai is not the Eretz Yisrael. What are you getting excited about? <laughs> he said, uh, the Bible doesn't say Sinai is Eretz Yisrael. Uh, Jabotinsky never said it's Eretz Yisrael. But I didn't want to get into an argument with him, but I didn't think of it in those terms. I thought of it in geostrategic yes. terms. So whether you call it Eretz Yisrael or you don't call it Eretz Yisrael, I think it would have been a mistake to turn everything over to the aggressor that, that he'd lost. He asked me about Judea and Samaria, if we ever reach that, uh, that fantasy land where the Arab world and the Muslim world wants to make real peace with Israel. We don't have to be concerned as to what will happen in these areas once we evacuate. I'd say, okay, we're ready to compromise. Not everything, not everything. You want me to go back to what Obama says, calls the 67 lines, which really are the 1949 armistice lines? I said, no. You said, real peace? I said, not even for that. Compromise? Yes. That's a reasonable position. Okay. Join Moshe Ahrens, career diplomat for the State of Israel on L'Chaim, right here on Shalom TV, celebrating all things Jewish.